My name is Jeffrey and I'm from Miami, Florida. We're sitting in uh, uh, San Antonio's new public art project called Unity Plaza. This is an endeavor that was commissioned by um, Public Art San Antonio uh, with the generous donation of the Alamo Fire and uh, Police Memorial Group. Uh, we were uh, in, in, um, selected um, in a competition to develop a one-of-a-kind public art piece for San Antonio which is composed of a 20,000 square foot mosaic map of San Antonio that then um, morphs into a tower of light that you could see from two miles out. Um, working with the uh, Public Art San Antonio has been a wonderful experience. Um, it, was, it was a very collaborative experience working with Jimmy LaFleur uh, and Claudia and um, the folks um, at the Cultural Division uh, was, uh, as well as the Chiefs uh, made this project a very uh, unified project called Unity Plaza. So thank you. As I said, uh, we had started in 2011, so if you think about it, we've only done this in almost a year and a half, and I think uh, the work that you see out there is only five months of work. When you do an integrated project, you always have to kind of um, understand that um, you're dealing with um, two entities that might have different ideas. It's quite evident that um, every time I visit a facility, you would go into the call center and you would see TV screens of the map of San Antonio. Um, they understand the grid of the city and this idea that um, a response and being able to respond in a way to the safety and lives of our community is very relevant and how um, expeditious they have to be to understand. So the, uh, this idea of the grid soon became the um, sort of the impetus of what the design was um, and that this grid would evolve what you see over two million stones um, that are laid out there um, that create the map of San Antonio that also have all the fire stations and the police stations labeled. Um, so you can go out there and actually find where each of the stations are located. Um, the highways are all lit up um, at night, but then ultimately the grid, which is sort of this idea of strength, leads to the beacon at the end. All the roads essentially morph into a single form which is a tower, and that's why each of the columns are not actually equidistant from each other. It's based on where the grid actually lies, um, and that raises up into a tower that then um, at nighttime will have this light, um, this light that will be up two miles high in the air um, that you can see not only from here but maybe several blocks around as well um, is the only uh, permanent single light in the U.S. besides the Luxor in Las Vegas. The um, reason for the stones um, is for an opportunity for the families um, to actually be one of the one with the light. We will be placing these in the well, sealing in the well, so that every time that light comes up, it always those words or those phrases will be beamed up into the sky. That being said, I want to thank all the uh, people who serve. Um, in, in law enforcement and fire, you guys do help um, provide uh, the connection between uh, keeping us connected in the community. Um, and I think this idea of Unity Plaza, which ties us all together and extends into the grid, is a very perfect complement. Because a lot of the work I do as a public artist is not really object related. It's easy to go and create an object and place it in the landscape. It's harder to create a place. And so hopefully this, will be, this Unity Plaza becomes another identity for downtown San Antonio. So that being said, thank you again.